When Darwin came up and wrote his book, we call it in a short form today, um, Evolution of, of Species. But it's not the full meaning of it, it's, it's, it's longer than that, which is it's a, it's a racist title. When he wrote the book, that book, and uh, they said it took the world by storm. It didn't take the world by storm, it only took carried away those people who have been trying to to break the chain of of uh, uh, to live life to, to break out and live uh, and, and do and sin with impunity it only it only converted those people that reject God already in their hearts those are the people that received um, Darwin uh, theory as gospel but those who know their God they, 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 they still stand and even today and you see that's what happened with the evolution theory all these evolutionary is godless it's godless it goes against biology it goes against science even though they call it science but it's falsely called science Evolution is not science. It's false. It's a it's a fairy tale. It's a theory. And Darwin, when he came up with this theory, that's what he called it. It's a theory. It's not even a fact. He knows it's not a fact. He knows he cannot prove his fact, his uh, his theory, and, and it's not a fact. So because people have believed these evolution theories, now they think that it's okay to kill a child in a womb because it's not really a child because it's not really um it's not really a a being in the womb because they have no belief I totally in god i totally agree with him there's no belief in god they have no belief in god at I all i totally agree and those people are the ones abortion that make argument is not a for, right those abortion are the ones who make argument right. for the case they will make argument against the case. They make argument for abortion because they have no God in their life. Abortion, I agree with you. Man. Okay, good, 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 good. I agree with you. Abortion is not a woman's right. Okay. That's what we're here for. Can I, can I understand mind. your uh, reasoning? Go ahead. You have a seat. Are you for it or against it? I. What exactly is this supposed to mean? Like, do you mean like they're not allowed to have a right to abort? What about the man? It's not a right. What about it's the not guy? not right for anybody That's at all. the guy's okay, kid so too, right? right? Yeah. That's the man's child well, too, Well, people right? saying that there's abortion is women's rights, you know, right. because right. they, they took... She because gets they, to choose? Because they took the man out of it. You both did it. I mean, come on now. They don't involve. Yeah. I'm saying that uh, it's not the, so it's what the man's people got are no rights. The, the, it's up to her. It doesn't matter. That. She gets all the rights. Politicians are Boom. saying that, and yeah. people that are abortion activists are saying like, that, and they're all saying that. that. Yeah. But the fact is, the the also, weird part is that you don't hear men involved uh, about it because it's all women. They thing. made it all women, women issue. Can opt out of but what I believe, what I believe, is it's not a right, neither for women or for the man at all. If a woman can choose to kill her baby so and not take care of the child, then why can't a man choose not to pay child woman support? Woman and say, hey, I don't want to take care of the baby. Hey, hey. Fuck. I'm, so, I'm lost, I'm sorry. Okay, if the same feelings, the same miracles that is, that is, uh, that is happening in the scriptures, we can see that happening today in our day and age in, re in reality. So it's not just something that is in a book. Healings. So examples of, of miracles like healings, people being healed and people being raised from the dead. These people actually uh, talked about it, did it. And today we can do it today too. So we know that it's real. So you believe that people can raise from the dead? Yes. In, and have you, you haven't seen it, but you believe it? I haven't seen it, I believed it, and, I, and people that have seen it, I believe what their, their, that their testimony is true, that there's no reason why they should be lying. 
and also on not only that those people that wrote this down died for it died believing that so if it, they were lying all they have to do is say you know i just made that up you know you know it's all cool i just made it up okay but they died believing that those things so if you believe a lie knowing that is a lie and you die knowing that you die for a lie it's impossible for a human being to do you can die not knowing that what you believe was a lie you can you can you can die not knowing that it's all a lie you know but if you know that it's a lie and you die for it you can do that you know I mean? you can do that so the feeling is that what you're trying to get at this comes back to abortion and the belief and the not belief in it and the fact that people are so entitled to the fact of abortion when they don't believe it is that what you're trying to get at or is that an idea that could also still happen well the fact is that people who believe in abortion they believe it because it's, it's a lie that was told to them and they believe that lie and they follow that lie but if they know that, that that is a lie and they still believe it, they can't do it without writing off their own humanity. Sorry, um... They believe those things because they've been lied to, that evolution is uh, that we all evolved. There's no God and because there is no God, no one makes the rules. The rules, we can make it up, a society can make the rules whenever, and then whenever they want they can change the rules that's that is if you when you believe evolution you believe that your society is the is the law is the law of god and your society determines what is right and what is wrong so in 1939 the jews were not human according to the germans and they can kill jews and they can kill gays and they can kill um handicap uh yes it was morally wrong everywhere but in germany they believe is fine because of the paradigm of lies they've been taught evolution that the the germans evolves more than the jews they're on a higher scale of evolution even in africa the the french were putting the uh, the uh, the african soldiers yeah. in in front line because they believe that their evolution uh they're, they're, they're not, they haven't evolved to the, to the, to the, to the, um, to the rate of, 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 of the white man. And so that they have a, um, they, they have, you know, their warrior spirit is because of their evolution programming. And so they can be sent to die without any much conscience uh, of thinking about it. And the same evolution ideology brought um, the German wiping out a whole tribe in Namibia and cooking their skulls. Because they believe that it's okay based on what Yes, because they believe, they cook their skulls, so their skull to, to uh, cook their head uh, down to skull and, and, and ship it to, to Germany to put it on a on museum to see, you know, these are the lower part of evolution. They evolve it, they, they haven't evolved as much as us. It is a fact. It's history. Okay. Um, where exactly would I find Namibia? Namibia. Yeah. The, the the country of Namibia today. Regarding the beat Namibia and yeah. Germany, it was pop up. German, the, when the German conquered that for the first time. Okay. Yeah. When they conquered Namibia, this is what they did. Oh, they, because these were evolutionists, and evolutionists came from a racist mindset, and. That's how it all began, and that's made it justifiable for them to do those heinous crime, the heinous things, because those people are not really human. They they're subhuman. They're lower in the evolution chain. That's and that's what they believe, right? Okay. So idea has consequences. And that, that's what I was trying to get at. Is that if this whole talk about ideas is to kind of represent that they can be harmful if they're not properly executed or if they're not properly laid out in a logical manner that makes sense in regards to to what actually exists well, evolution itself is not logical 
to begin with and everything that is based from that you write is going to be illogical and crimes hideous crime is committed in the name of that because of the illogicality of it kind of the ones that you just listed essentially yeah yes and the fact is that that no one to to condemn you because evolution is not there's no morals in it morals by who are you if uh, if another amoeba is eating another amoeba, who's who's to say that the other amoeba's right is better than his right? But why does God have to be our part of our morals? What I'm trying to get at is like why can't we just be moralistic in itself? Uh, because it's it's the same thing that saying that is it, it, it's, it's the same thing that saying that you know how, why can't I be born without my parents? Huh? Why is that the same thing? Well, you need both of your parents to be born. You did mention that prophets believed in God or believed in the things that he said. So how do they know that? If, if it's a belief, then there's no logical reasoning behind... You know, there's logical reasoning, but there's no actual evidence of existence of what he says. There is evidence. They show, they show the evidence. But you, said the prophets, but you said the prophets believe it. Didn't they, you didn't say that that evidence exists it did exist when Moses was sent to the Israelites to to tell them about the about the the God who sent him the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob he he, he told them and they said well show us a sign to show that God spoke to you and what one of the signs he did was throw uh, uh, his staff on the ground and his, his stick became a snake and we know that that's that's something that humanly impossible only there's only the that that can only come from god that in itself is a belief we don't actually know that that exists well that in itself is a belief to us to the people that have witnessed it it is it was a fact they saw it and they passed the story down to generation from generation to generation and it's written is written down uh for us and we have no basis of believing that they are they're gonna they're lying because they left egypt out of slavery for they are slave and they all of a sudden they become free again because of all these things that they say the series of things that happen uh, the, that caused that caused their their slave master to leave them and we find that it's true it's factual and we can go today and the crossing of the Red Sea we can go today uh, that's what I'm saying those stories are believed by us okay but today we can we can but, but today i mean people based on that story uh, they can they go to uh, man and his uh, son went underneath took a uh, diving tour underneath the ground to find the, the red sea crossing and guess what did they find on the bottom of the sea they found chariot wheels okay so the believing that that crossing of the red sea that uh, Egyptian drowning in the Red Sea, chasing the Israelites, were actually factual true. Today we can, we can, we we can document. We can say, yeah, this is actually true. We believe it, and now we have extra evidence to back it up. And the fact when Jesus was uh, was alive, there was uh, first people atheists uh, disprove it that uh, Jesus never really lived, and there were no such person named called uh, Pontius Pilate. And then of 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 Reese after that, not long ago after that, the archaeologists dug up a pillar right. dedicated to Pontius Pilate, and so they read, oh, there was such a person that existed at that time. So we have all of these records in history, and the question is is a question of whether you believe the evidence or whether you don't, because if you don't have any, if you don't want to believe the facts i i say if someone who don't want to believe if you give them 100 evidence they will ask you for 101 102 evidence before they believe so it's not that's the, what i'm doing right now huh? that's what i'm doing right now because i'm still uncertain yeah well because that's a, that's a that's a that's a fact of hearts it's not a fact of there's no evidence that's the fact of a heart that you don't really believe i believe in the concept that it's really hard to be 100% accurate with everything you say because there's so much information to tell and therefore how can you be so sure that everything someone is claiming or insisting that is logical 
happens to be real when there's so many things that humans can do mistakenly. Well, human can do things mistakenly, and we can de debunk it, find that it's it's, uh, it's mistaken. I mean, today we know that Zeus doesn't is not a is not a real being. We know that Hermes is not a real person. We know that Hercules is not a real person. We know all these ancient myths, mythologies, and you know there's some truth to that, but we know that they weren't gods. So there are ways to debunk things that are. That are that stories that have been that have been told uh, that that we are told. There is a way to be debunked by searching and lining it up against the truth. And if you see the Bible, the way it's written, and it look you look at it in a scientific point of view, you will find that it's actually it it balances. The Bible say that the Earth is hanging on nothing. When the time that we don't have any telescope, we haven't been to space. They say that it's, it's, it hangs on nothing, it hangs on nothing. So we know that that's true today. We have a free Bible here, we can... <laughs> yeah, we have a free Bible here. I can hand you a free Bible and uh, you can read it on, in your own time. And, and we know that uh, what we believe is true. And uh, that anything that is different from that is you can actually be easily debunked. I mean, for instance... We, yeah, for instance, when we look at it, you know, every religion on this planet, they they you have to search whatever they believe, whether it is whether it lines up with with reality. So back, okay, so back to this though, and the stand on um, of which a quote unquote baby is not a baby because it's just a clump of cells. You obviously believe otherwise that as soon as there is a creation being involved that it is in a sense human but how how would you know that on a scientific level how would you know that because once the sparks takes place cells begin to divide the cells begin to divide we can see it under the microscope but then how do we determine the difference between a, a, like an apple cell versus a pear cell versus a human cell what don't they look the same on a microscopic level, like even DNA-wise, because they haven't developed into the the in, in, to develop into what they're supposed to develop into. Well, they can they look similar, yeah, but by by someone looking at it from a some naked eye looking at it from a microscope, they look similar. But on a closer look, you find that they're different. When when Darwin came out with evolution theory, Darwin thought that the, the cells were blood of jello. He didn't know that the cells have a moving part, that it's like a big city. It has places to let in food in and let out waste and all of that. They didn't know that. It's able to have the ability to let in food and let out food. Isn't it already conscious? And if it's conscious, then that in itself is a human. But then how... How do you, what I'm trying to get at is how do you determine when it is human and when it is not? Well, I'll say the, how you determine that is by when that God created, when that, no, because think, let's get this straight, I, I spoke with a guy, a uh, recently uh, educated guy, an English teacher, and he, he, he agreed with me, he himself doesn't know. He's an evil, uh, from evolution paradigm, he himself doesn't know when the, Conscious, because he was arguing about this consciousness case, and and I tell, ask him when does consciousness, because he was it was using the same argument that if it doesn't have consciousness, then that means it's not a human being. And I say to him, when does consciousness begin? Can you tell me? He he said he doesn't know. Okay, so I don't know, but for myself, what I know is that that. Once that cell is being dis being uh, 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 divide start dividing, it's a human being that is in a, in a developmental stages. Okay? okay, it's still a human being. Because you know it's going to be. Yes, it's a potential. It's a being. Every designer has a designer. Exactly, and the same way we know when we plant an orange tree in a pot and it's growing, we don't say, "Oh, that's an apple tree," or "That's." We say that's an orange tree in developmental. Stage. It's just growing. It's not. 
is that it hasn't grown to a full orange tree, right? That's how we know. It's a child in the womb. These are all developmental stages. All of us went through this. All of us went through this before we became this. This already, while the cells were dividing, the DNA already have all the information it needs to make a full human being. And so many of those in, uh, uh, information are taken from your mother and your father. That's why I say you cannot be here without your mother or your father. You know, because you should, they, they both contributed into that, and to, to make you who you are. Yeah. And you are, you are a unique person, and there's nobody like you anywhere else in the world. Have you ever thought about that? It may resemble you, but but you 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 like it's like a fingerprint. In, in no person is alike, because why? Even even siblings that are, that are from the same mother, you're not the same. So each and every individual human being are in God's eyes uni are unique in human eyes and in God's eyes. So that child already have a potential of becoming who. They, that God created it to be the if you sh cut off if you kill that child in that in that process because you believe because they don't look like us then that means they're not a human being that means that's a fallacy in thinking that's a thinking fallacy that's like if you know if a black person don't look like me you know he's not a human being or if an Asian person doesn't look like us then they're not a human being you know, someone shorter than me, that they're not fully a human being. We can take it many in many directions. You know, that's that's the that's what what it is uh, we're talking about. Life is is sacred, and God created it, and God is the only one who has the right to take that life. I mean, yes, there is a there are people that women that have miscarriages. All you have to do is look at women that have this miscarriages. They are devastated. Now why? Why are they devastated if all that all that was just a blob of jello is nothing there? But women have miscarriages and they 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 they're devastated they they they're, they're in shock and they're in tears. Because it's a life that was lost. In that case, well the body decided to something was wrong and the body decided to to uh to stop the process and uh and uh, and and, and, uh, and move on but nobody forced it okay this was all done by the process of god that god said that the abortion in this case in this case are out of convenience 99 percent of the abortion 99 I say 99, even 9.9 percent, .9 maybe all the 99 percent just to be sa uh, safe. It's all done by convenience. Only one percent is out of maybe incest or rape. One percent. Yes, but so, but but the argument is made for you know people come and they talk to you about, okay what about someone who's raped what about someone who but that's one percent they use one percent to write up the 99 percent which is i believe that that's that's uh, morally repugnant in my in my point of view that up, i don't understand even myself that that concept is irrelevant to the fact that not majority of abortions are rape or incest the most 99% like I said is out of convenience. There was a lady that went to, that was going to plan a, a vacation, to go to vacation. And she realized before the vacation, she realized she, she found that she was pregnant with their third baby. Or so she went and had an abortion and killed the child because she doesn't want to have that, uh, have sickness, pregnancy sickness while she's on a vacation. So it's out of convenience. So that's what I'm saying today. Our society has so more repugnant, repugnant to the point that they would think of a... And that stems from the fact that evolutionary theory that this is not really a human being. There's no one in charge. No one makes the law. The rules are made by us. God is not 
in our lives, God didn't create anything. The, 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 we all evolved here by any accident. So, you know, what's wrong with another, you know, amoeba eating another amoeba? It's all part of it. You know, so that's the same thing that the, the Nazis believed in, uh, the same thing that, uh, that, um, that uh, Stalin believed in. You know, Stalin was able to murder 50 million, um, 50 million people just because he doesn't believe that they have life, they have value. So we believe, people of God, we believe that human life, human life has value. Each and every one of us have intrinsic value. And so that life should be protected. And the best place that a child, the safest place for a child to be is in the mother's womb. But today, today that womb is not even safe anymore because of this ideology. And in Canada, you can, you can kill your child up to nine months. In Canada, it's it, it, there's no limit. So the only limit is if it comes out of the birth canal and all of a sudden it magically becomes a human being once it, when it comes out of a birth canal. But once it's within the behind birth canal, it's, it's not a human being. I asked a person here, so if you because if the, you know because it's inside a womb, it's not a human being. I say, well then people in Africa, because they're in that space and time, they're not human being too. Because they're not in your space, they're in some space and time. So you can make all of these arguments are broken down into these things, into space, into viability, into cognitive ability. You know, can a, can someone in a coma does it? Yeah. So, so are you a believer now? Do you do you think that uh, it's a, it's it's not a right? You're, you're having a baby under immoral standards but if it's in the sense that it's out of convenience to have an abortion I understand that it's morally not right and that there's other ways to there is possibly other ways to fix the situation yeah. even rape even rape and incest sure, you can you can you can have the child and put them for ado adoption child under immoral circumstances so and if the whole point is to not be immoral then how come you have a child in the first place you're basically making the child alive under a sense of immorality for me i mean i believe differently i believe that the child you know has right to live to li right to life that's about it you know it, you know, rape and this is a heinous thing it's a heinous thing to, to happen it's unfortunate you know, I will sympathize that with that person I embrace him, but I will encourage them not to, not to, you know. And if they, if they end up doing that, you know, I will to ask them to, 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 to rethink and actually come to God and ask for forgiveness and move on with their life. And I will say, I will, for, me, for myself, I would actually, I would actually uh, vote for death penalty for the rapists. But here we we'll put the rapists, and we don't want. We <laughs> see the funny part. If you if you get raped here in Canada, they put the rapists in jail and they kill the child. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. <laughs> so that's that's the problem with our society. When you're more, when you when you when you've gone out of away from God, your moral uh, fabric and moral fabric of society become decay, start decaying and that's the same way that Rome, Roma, the Romans uh, be, they've, they, they decay the society through these, these ideas I understand, I understand the idea of human value and morality but um, the only reason why God is being brought into this is because that is what in your sense stems into human values and morality but that doesn't necessarily mean that god has to be a part of it is what i'm trying to get at but it can be a part of it is what I'm trying to get at. well ha god has to be a part of it anyway whether you like it or not uh we don't we, god has to be because we are living in his house we have to obey by his rules if we don't want him to be a part of it we go and create our own planets and create human beings in it and then we become 
No, I'm not scared. Oh, really? But I saw as he was living in his house, no, no, um, he will go by his room. My take? We have no choice. Yeah. And oh. I don't I'm a Christian and I believe, believe in the Bible, in God, so and that's I why pretty much feel good. Probably yeah, stingy there, about right? But it's that's why he's, he's having. having <laughs> it's, Trust it's, me, it's you're almost there. You are almost topic, there. Right? Read the There's Bible. Yes, read the Bible. I like, I like you. I like you. I like your reason. I like your uh, your but your you uh, talk, ability to to reason to like, think things over to and and be able to reason civil civilly. And so you're not far away from you're not far away from the truth. That's all I can say to you. And just keep on. Just keep on uh, pursuing that truth, you know. But do it, you know. Do it before it's too late, because time um, is too short. I don't really consider myself. Your, your name, any Michael, is my name. Tegan. But I was nice raised Pentecostal. All right. Take care. We're here every Saturday. If you're interested, it's I'm more into like just following what again. the Bible yeah. says. You know, there's a lot of denominations put their own spin on it. <laughs> Is, but I believe uh, not the, you can't help it. reading the Bible you can't help, uh, and people following what the Bible says. Feel. They have, uh, they have no, chip up their shoulder. You can't help it. You can only try. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of people yeah, no, that, that's the problem nowadays, right? A lot of people are staying silent about it, and they're afraid. They're afraid to speak out. I mean, there's uh, you know so many different reasons. I mean, personally, I know what awkwardness is. Be awkward. Silence isn't good, yeah. right? And yeah. You can be complicit into the problem by being silent and not standing up for, you know, what a lot of Christians are meek and they're easygoing and they it tend is, to not uh, voice their opinion too much. We're not built to be a talking machine. Minus in, being inside the church, that's a different story, it's right? When it becomes, but, when awkward yeah, becomes a practice, then that becomes a problem. <laughs> you don't mind me asking. Yeah, you can. We don't, you can ask anything you want. And just because you have a degree doesn't mean that you have wisdom. You know, wisdom is from God. You can have all the PhD and you still be a fool. Because wisdom is not stemming, does not stem from uh, having a PhD degree. So, the reason why we are here is to call every man everywhere to repent. So that they can receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. That's why we are here.